what up, what up, what up, what up? It's your boy Fox Amir. Trail fam on the dog, Mr. White Dog, and good shit. You know what I am. Yo, what up, it's your boy E. Dead Game Records, holding it down for Bad Rules, you know what I'm saying? Just kicking it right now with my boy One Nine, you know what I'm saying? About to give you a little insight <clears throat> on what I learned from this music business and my experience firsthand. Hi, my name is Courtney Hustle, and I am the owner of Prestigious Grind, a consulting and marketing firm that has worked with several labels um, regionally and nationally. You may more so know me as the general manager of Trill Entertainment, but I've also worked with Atlantic Records and Warner Brothers as well. I'm PK1. You know what I'm saying? Better known as Go DJ PK1, also known as PK. Um, I'm a DJ here in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. I also DJ in Hammond, Lafayette, New Orleans, all over the state. And, uh, you know, it's out there. D1, the one man army, that's me. New Orleans on, hip hop artist, motivational speaker, activist, whatever I gotta do to inspire and motivate these soldiers out there. Juan Chicken and Watermelon, I'm DJ your boy Earl. Uh, radio personality, mogul, record breaker, artist management, entrepreneur, DJ, radio personality. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know where to start, man. I do a little bit of everything. Graphic designer, executive producer. A record deal is an exclusive binding agreement between an artist and a record label. That is basically for the artist to act as a recording artist, performing artist, and for the record label to sell and promote their albums and push the artist. It's something to help an artist, you know what I'm saying? If you're doing your thing, a record deal is pretty much the people who going to put all the money behind you, pay, the, pay for your promo, pay for your CD. They're pretty much the people that pay for everything. But they're not doing it for nothing, you know what I'm saying? That's the people who get a bigger percentage out there said and done than you do because you're just the artist, you know what I'm saying? I mean, the way I look at record deals are like, you know, as far as from the company point of view, it's an investment. And it's not, you know, a jump off or a meal ticket. It's an investment. They invest a certain amount of money depending on whatever hype you have behind you. And that's an investment they put on not to get full return on, not just full return, but to get something on top of that. That's what I look at record deals as. A record deal from the perspective of an artist it's an opportunity to come up. It's an opportunity to get a lot of marketing dollars behind you, and a lot of promotions behind what you do. So you think of getting a record deal, and you automatically associate that with, I'm finna be on, I'm finna get paid. That's what you think about as an artist. Like, a lot of times you work towards that record deal so you don't have to do everything on your own. And I think that that's one of the biggest misconceptions. You know, artists and any talent feel like once a record label comes into play, I've made it. I'm there, I'm done, the hard work is over. And that's a complete distrust. Um, another misconception that I think is that artists feel like labels owe them something. You know, a lot of artists do not educate themselves to the, the, the business of music and the business of music and the fact that it's about making money. Think of, think of the record industry just like pimping. If you meet a female, you meet a girl, you'd be like, well, you know, she's kind of cute. You know, I'm gonna have to put put some tracks in the head. I'm gonna have to invest some money, put some tracks in the head. I'm gonna have to buy her some breasts. I'm gonna have to uh, put her in the gym, get her a gym membership. She's staying in the hood right now, so you know I gotta move her out the hood into this nice neighborhood, and I'm gonna fix her real up, fix her up real nice, so she can make some money for me. That is the record deal. That is the record industry in a nutshell. You got your name that the record label gave you. You got your recognition that the record label gave you. You got status out here, people are, they listening to your music in places you probably can't even pronounce that the record label made possible for you. You're doing shows in places that you didn't go to meet the people where you're at, but the, somebody from your record label went out there to secure that their artist could perform there. You, you know what I'm saying? A lot of the things that the artist is being, is benefiting off of the record label planted those seeds so that they would be able to further their career solo. That's why you have a record deal to kind of be like, you know, to kind of secure the fact that the temptations of the music industry don't really cover, you know, 
they don't really cover the regular, the record. I mean, the record company. You know what I'm saying? From the perspective of a record company, a record deal is a loan. I look at the record deal as an opportunity, an opportunity to reach a, a bigger fan base than you was currently reaching. So like the way it basically goes with me is like, you know, an artist comes up with a hot song, a hot single, uh, they work it around their city, they work it around their neighborhood, uh, they work it around their states, they get it into the right DJ's hands, and all of a sudden they're in a situation where they're, you know, getting radio spin, BDS, getting requests for commercials, getting, you know, um, world star interviews, getting YouTube views and stuff like that. And once a, uh, a record label sees that, you know, they'll reach out or they'll contact the person, not on some live show or we want to see you live, but just on some, what interest do your local people have? What interest, what local buzz do you have? What radio buzz do you have? What internet buzz do you have? Have any artists featured with you? You know, things like that. And I met Mouse. He found me, he came to my mama, I was met Mouse. What's up, what's up? Tina didn't want to talk to you, put him on the phone with T. I was at the office the next day signing the contract because he already had heard my music. You know, I signed because at the time I had, I think I had one little bar, and my second little bar was on the way. And, you know, that, 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 that job shit, it was getting it done, you know what I'm saying? You got a job, you gonna pay your bills, you're getting money, but that shit that just wasn't for me. I'm a lazy ass person, so when they came at me with a deal, I took that bitch so fast, cause I ain't, I ain't, I ain't for the work and shit at all. Not, I follow my own man. I ain't even asking nobody about it. You know what I'm saying? A lot of shit. I feel like I did the right thing. If I could, if I could do, if I would be able to do something different back then, probably not. Probably not. A record deal isn't good for you. Period. It's better, it's, it may be good for you, but it's better for the people who sign you. If I am the one, if I'm gonna put $100,000 into you, if someone's gonna give you $100,000, guess how much that means they're going to make. So a record deal is a, is, a mutual, is a mutual thing. If you're signed to a record, all record deals aren't good, and you'll hear that a million times. You have to find the right situation that's, that works for you. Yeah, bro, see how you got your little hands. Yeah, see how you got your little hands. Ah, save the day. I was struggling. I was like, I don't know how it looked buttoned up, man, with the shirt. Okay. I like the name. All right, I'm beat. So, 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 so don't look at it like that. You need to look at your contract basically as a starting point to get your next one. Most people can't even get out of their first contract because they, they look at it wrong. A record deal from a record label standpoint. That a nigga that was in that club take me out of the game like this, nah. But when I'm not doing this music thing, I'm with my family. I got three kids and they are a hassle. You know what I'm saying? Y'all niggas bust out and y'all niggas scared. Holler one way, but my nigga kill ain't even there.